Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to show you this one time while y'all are bothering me at work. And uh, let's see, okay. So these three things, you, well, let's see, one, two, three, four. These four things are gonna be your best friend, okay? This is the cheapest way to make a boost uh, leak tester. Okay, you got your air chuck. You got your two inch coupler you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're roughly around like what, two or three bucks, okay? Valve stand. Okay, as you can see, I got some sealing in there. It's not the best job in the world, but screw it. It works anyways, right? Okay, so you're gonna, what you're gonna need to do is buy you one of these. Buy your valve stem. Drill you a small hole, just enough to fit that sucker right through in there. Okay, usually I have it a little bit further down in there, but I don't today, because for some reason I just pulled the shit out of it. Okay, so anyway, you gotta seal it around in there so none of the air leaks through on the other side. You can put some on this side if it makes you feel happy or tickles you, I don't care. Okay. All right, so you're gonna wait for it to dry, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to take this, okay, this. Don't don't take, you know, your lug nuts, don't take that power strip cord, just take this right here. You put this, take your intake off. You put this on your compressor side if you have a stock turbo. If you do not have a stock turbo, you're gonna need to get you a bigger one, find out what size your inlet is, okay? You're gonna put it on that inlet down in there. You're gonna clamp it down in there. Don't leave it on there loosely, it's never gonna work. Clamp it down onto your inlet. Take this circuit, get it out of the way so that way you don't end up tripping over it, okay? Okay, next, you're gonna take this marker, okay, and get a clamp because I'm not gonna be responsible to say, hey man, your shit didn't work, the marker came and flung me in the eye and you know, now my vagina hurts, okay? So you're gonna take this marker, you're gonna put it on this hose right here if you still have this, okay? You're gonna take that off, you're gonna shove this little guy down in there because it fits just perfectly. Put a clamp on it, okay? Then what you're gonna do after that, you're gonna take this air chuck, and you're gonna put it on that part right there, on that valve stem, that part right there. Not on this part, and not on this part, but that part right there. Feel the air on the system. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for this guy right here. This is gonna be your friend, this is gonna be your guide. It's gonna come out, you can't really pull on it. It's gonna come out, okay, to a point. When it stops, you stop pumping air into it. If you do not hear your boost leak, it's going, and you do have one, it's gonna start moving back in very slowly. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, if you don't have a spray bottle, you're gonna get you some soap and water. You can get a sponge, bucket, rag, your shoe, your mom's tampon, it doesn't matter. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just pour it on everywhere that you think that you may have a loose leak, you know, whether it be down there on your little you know, hose right there, because you're in your cooler, or it could be like what I'm having. I had a leak right down there on my throttle body, okay? It's gonna bubble. It's not going to scream at you and say, I'm right here. It's going to bubble. So you're going to look for the bubbles if you don't, like I said, if you don't hear it. Now, the other thing is, too, that you're going to have to watch out for is if you do not have a check valve on your line here that goes to your PCV valve, you're going to have probably leaks coming around your valve cover and coming out of this hose right here. You need to have a check valve before you do any type of boost leak test. It is going to be your best friend. You may have to order these online. I could not find these at the hardware store, but you need to have yourself a, a 3 8 or 5 8 whatever size makes you feel comfortable, uh, check valve in order to stop the airflow from pushing back up into your valve cover, making your gaskets leak. Okay, that's it. Hope you all enjoy. If you're confused, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, just hit me up if you're confused. All right, later.